Well, Cash, welcome to the Fight Camp Hotel. It's absolutely always a pleasure to catch up with you. We know you love shining on the big stage. Yeah. Boxing at Fight Camp this weekend is something that you can't wait for, isn't it? Yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. And uh, something, it's going to be a new experience for me. And, uh, you know, I've had a lot of motivation going to this uh, fight. And uh, I'm looking to go on there and showcase my score and put a performance on. Talk to us about that motivation that you just said there. It's a to go out there and put a performance on yeah. it. Is that what it is? What is your motivation this weekend? Oh, it's, it's to win, but you want to win looking good as well. People are talking about you, and that's my main thing, you know what I mean? And as long as I go out and then do that, I'm over the moon, you know what I mean? And uh, especially doing it with this fight camp, all eyes are going to be on, on Saturday night, you know what I mean? Everybody's eyes, and uh, there's a lot of fans as well, so it's going to be great, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm looking forward to going and doing it. Yeah, it does, you know what I mean? From obviously boxers, trainers, managers, and that, it's great. I mean, I can go. It's just showing hard work's paying off, and things I'm working on in the gym are paying off in the in the in the ring. And uh, you know, it's great motivation for me to work hard and keep improving, improving. That that's my that's my motivation. You know what I mean? You've been coming up against these tough South Americans for the last few fights now. Yeah. They've been coming over here and trying to change their life and throwing everything they yeah. can at you to win. But that too has given you the reputation of having your own gritty, go-to-war Mexican style. People yeah. love watching Casper. Yeah, of course, you know, of course, they want to come here and change their life. I'm the same. I want to change my life for the better. And, uh, you know, so, you know, I do what I do to just to win, you know what I mean? Talk to me about that fight with Alexander Espinosa because you weren't overall happy with yeah. you that night with your performance. What differences do you believe we will see on Saturday night and do you want to see in your own performance on Saturday? Obviously, th you can't make excuses, you know what I mean? It was, I got the win at the end of the day and I wouldn't say it was my perf best performance. I got dragged in, but it's a learning experience. You know, and uh, I went and in the gym and worked on it while well, things are improving. You know, and that's that's the way my mind says get better and better every fight. And uh, you know, this fight I want to go on there and show my improvements. I made in the fight. Talk to us about your own development as well. You know, you're, you're very much still learning. Although Eddie yeah. keeps saying, look, you're banging on the yeah. door of the big names of, of the world titles. Are you happy with where you're at at this point of your journey? Yeah, hundred percent. You know, you, I want to step up every time and. Uh, Hopefully this is the fight that can obviously give me a nice wee step up again, you know. I know he's he's unknown in the UK and uh, there's not much footage of him online and that, but I'm still treating as a threat because he's coming here to win no matter what. And uh, this fight can potentially change his life and put him to, you know what I mean, the World Series. So I've treated this fight, you know what I mean, if it's my world title fight. The biggest thing that a lot of fighters have learned about these unknown Mexicans who yeah. just say coming over is they can never be overlooked. And the example we always use, of course, yeah. is Maurizio Lara yeah. coming over and dethroning Josh Warrington. That's all we're proof in the pudding you need, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, hundred percent. You know, you obviously you need to treat every fight. If it's your last fight, it's a world title fight or whatever. You know, and that's the way I've tra uh, treated it. And uh, it doesn't matter what the records are or whatever. You just need to treat every fight if it's one of your hardest fights. And that's the way my mind says being like going into this fight tonight. One fight we always speak yeah. about because it is such a big fun. Your smile there, says yeah. because we, we were talking about it off camera there, and you were talking about it as well. We caught Willie McGregor. He was in the yeah. hotel recently, and he was saying, "Look, it's a fight he wants more than any fight, yeah. and it's the only fight that could maybe lure him away than if he was offered a yeah. world title shot." Talk to us about that fight and how much you want it as well. You know, of course, I want it as well. You know, I mean, and, uh, you know, it's a big fight for Scotland. You know, and uh, you can fill out any stadium, I think any stadium in Scotland. You know, and uh, but I'm right now, I mean eyes on Saturday night, you know, keep keep winning and things can maybe maybe potentially end of the year and beginning next year can happen, you know what I mean? But it's fight at a time and that's the way my mindset that's for going into this fight. Just keep winning and just keep focus on the next stage, you know what I mean? That's this is the next fight I'm focused on is Casillo. Did you watch his last fight? Were you impressed at all with his performance? You know it is what it is, you got the win at the day, you know, and it doesn't matter you if you what what happens, end of the day you got the W. That's what matters at the end of the day. That's the way I see it anyway. And just final question on Lee McGregor, would you agree with him that this rematch is so much bigger than the first fight, isn't it, given all that's happened? Yeah, 100%. Uh, obviously, how the things ended the um, last fight, it's made into a bigger fight, you know what I mean? And, uh, you know, it's doubly doing everything. I mean, financially for me, and it was brilliant. And uh, whenever it does happen, it'll be great for both of us. And uh, I'll be definitely ready, you know what I mean, whenever it is. This fight with Castillo is a chance for you to add another WBC yeah. belt to your collection, a WB international belt on the line. Is that the route you're looking to go down as, you know, you're ranked 14th with the yeah. WBC at the moment? Is that your preferred route, do you believe, towards a world title? Uh, to be honest, I'll fight whoever they're putting from me and whatever route my manager, my Eddie, wants to go through, I'm just going to 
go through it, you know, so I don't have a preference for where I want to go down. You know, for me, whoever's in front of me, that's how I'm going to box, and that's the mindset I've got. This division boasts some monstrous, yeah. monstrous champions, doesn't it? From Denaire to Casemiro to the monster himself, yeah, yeah. Anoue. How do you assess the, the very top echelons of this division? I think it's probably one of the hardest, you know, I mean, weights in the world right at the moment. You know, you've got a few Hall of Famers in here, Denaire, what do you call that? And you are, they can potentially go down as Hall of Famers, and obviously in 10, 15 years' time. And, uh, you know, so obviously it's a great division to be in. And obviously I would love to fight with them just to say I've been in with them. and. You know, and uh, I love to work my way in there. But at the moment, I'm just working my way towards her, you know. And in terms of, we, we touched on it earlier, but Scottish boxing is in a brilliant position at the yeah. moment, obviously. We, we know what Josh Taylor yeah. has been doing, becoming an undisputed world champion. How proud are you to be representing Scotland as well on a big stage? Yeah, I'm, I'm really, really happy, you know, and it's great to be part of that small error, you know, I mean, that's coming through at the moment. And uh, we're obviously at the top of the game, and, uh, you know, I'm hoping one day I can fill out stadiums and maybe top cards in Scotland as well. But finally, I'll leave the final word to yeah. you. Is I won't ask you to make a prediction yeah. as such, but the game plan and, and the you want the outcome yeah. just to be a, a classy cash yeah. for it win, a more clinical win than your, your last fight perhaps. Yeah, 100%. As long as my hand gets raised end of the night, I'm happy with that, you know, And but I want to go on the performance and come out the way I went in. Cash, thanks for your time. Wish you the very best of luck. Thank you.